Okay guys, we're back and um, this was a long pause, really, really long. And um, <clears throat> this is uh, today, it's Saturday, it's uh, 10.30 and I'm going to be finishing this. Um, Dave, uh, Dave on the comment section of my YouTube said, you know, you should be doing uh, a little bit uh, intenser colors. And that was exactly what I was doing at the moment. But of course, you know, during the week, there's not much uh, room to uh, do this stuff. So uh, that's why I'm going to, oops, forgot to wet it. So I'm going to put some water on here. And then we're going to put on this. I thought I'd just do a couple of shades of... This is Payne's Gray and Powder Blue, just to give it a little bit of a different look. As you can see, it's working out very nicely, but I do want it to be a little bit darker. But uh, the thing is, guys, I really have to uh, get myself into this sort of a, uh, sort of a zen thing. Because when I do this kind of art on YouTube, on video, I get a little bit, um, how do you call it, a little bit rushed. You know, I want to do it fast because I think that the video will be too long. And it's, um, it's not that, you know, I'm doing it because people have commented on my uh, channel. That's not the case. It's just because I have the idea that I want to do it just a little bit faster. And that's why I get a little rushed, but I shouldn't. I just should do this because I figured out, finally, I figured out how to do the uh, speed up the video. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, not when I'm talking, though, because, uh, of course, you want to hear something i got to say. But um, I will be speeding up parts where it's going to be really tedious and long. And that's when I'm going to take off the uh, this layer. Oh, I see hair in there. Got to get the hair out. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I do want, I do have to keep it a little bit moist because otherwise I can't do the patterns. But down here I want it a little bit darker than up here because that's something I think is going to be a little bit appealing. And by the drag of the brush, I feel where uh, it's dry and you should be... Um, sort of watching that. When you feel the drag of the brush, then the layer is already too, uh, too dried up. So you gotta take care that you don't do that. Okay, I think we have enough paint on here. Maybe a little bit up here. Because I'm gonna be doing that um, cling film technique. So we'll put that away for a bit. Now, because of the flowers up here and uh, the green is here and up here is the uh, the flower color, so I'm going to be thinking about where the flowers are going to be. And I think I will be doing something like this. So very carefully pulling what's going to be something like the uh, the leaves and this this should be see I'm speeding it up already because I want to really work on these little bits of flower things So it has to look a little bit pretty. Something like that. Then another flower is going to come up here. Another one down here. And maybe one from the side. And one from the side up here. Okay, I think we got enough of that. Now for the cling film stuff. So I want to have a little bit of action going on there and a little bit of action coming in here.
like that. Now, normally you want to, um, you know, make sure that it's a little bit dry, but I'm not going to do that because I'm also going to use the ethanol. So I'm going to take it out like that. That's a little bit too much. You know, if you have this and you think, oh, that is way too much, what you can do is just get your brush, paint over it. But we're not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is. Then I'm going to take my ethanol and put that on there. See if that really does something. I'm not really seeing much working. I'm not sure if I have the, the good ethanol. It does stink though, but I'm not really seeing much going on. So probably my paint is too thick. So you should make that just a little bit uh, thinner so that it'll, you know, move more. But I'm not seeing it really doing stuff. Okay. Just helping it along a little bit. Wow, does that stuff smell. Okay. That's it. Put the lid back on. And this is just normal ethanol. We'll just let that simmer in a little bit. And then, of course, I'm going to do the parts where I'm going to take off some paint. Now that might be where I'm going to go and get some baby wipes because I think they work just a little bit better. And up here and down there. Now this works because it, the paint is still uh, very wet. But when once it dries, you'll have to have something that, you know, can really take off the paint. So I know that Gerda Lipsky said, you know, baby wipes work perfectly for that. And I just might come in and do some of that uh, background painting that she does. I'm really not sure yet, but I might do that. And then just time lapse it so you guys can see how that works. But for me, right now, this is okay. And the only thing I really do want is some more of those little things that look like leaves. So that sort of looks like leaves. And by the time we're ready with this, the ethanol will have uh, uh, evaporated. But I sort of like how this is turning out. Okay, we'll leave it exactly like this. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make different flowers. Uh, I want sort of a tulip flowers. So they're going to be sort of like this. And one coming up here. This is the only part I don't really, <laughs> I don't really like. I don't know. I don't like this. Let's see what happens when we take it off. And remember, you can always, if you don't like it, you can always come back and uh, 
paint over it. You could take off this whole layer if you wanted to. So don't be afraid to do something that is creative, but you're not certain it's going to work out. You can always fix it. But I really need something that's a little bit pointy because I want to get up here. And up here and up there. And see that? That's not working because that stuff, this, um, this wipe will just, you know, touch your paint and take it off. So that's not really what we're looking for. But as you can see, you can really take it off nicely. I do like the uh, the shape of the flowers, though. And what I'm doing, I'm not using baby wipes. I'm using um, those little things that you know you can take your uh, off, your makeup off. That's what I'm using. I think I'll have to really come in and do some, uh, or maybe I should just stop talking and do it like I want to do it and then speed up the video. Yeah, that would be better. Let's do that. Okay guys, I uh, finished off the painting and I did some background stuff on it. As you can see up here, I lightened it up, did some of this, not the same that uh, Gerda does, but you know, just to finish it off. Now, if you don't like your painting, which I know a lot of you don't, you know, when you finish you're thinking, nah, it's not really exactly like I envisioned. First of all, what I do is I'd frame it like this to really determine if you really don't like it and just by adding this black uh, back uh, uh, border you know it, it it speaks more so it turns into something a little bit different and if you still don't like it what you can also do is just go down a size so then we take another frame and we go and look at which part would make some more sense to us or which we do find appealing like I'd like this I think this is kind of pretty this one might be also maybe a little bit more up there like a real abstract see how you can just um, I'm getting getting a little distracted because I see a question on the uh, on my monitor. Someone's asking on YouTube, but as you can see, you can just pick out something that you really like. So you don't have your whole painting, but you just take the part you do like. So then it's not a totally wasted um, thing you made, but you're going to take something out. Now you can even go smaller if you want to. Oh, I didn't do this very neatly, but. As you can see, you could pick that out. That is kind of pretty. You don't know what it is, but it's sort of abstract, right? Something like this, or you could take out two. And here you can just determine which parts you really like. So what I do is, um, let me get this a little bit straighter. I might take out this one and this one and, you know, frame them in two frames and hang them together. That That's kind of pretty. Or choose something where the orange is coming in a little bit more dramatic see that then you have two and you can just you know put them together I think you might even be able to get three out of them one two nah, not well maybe if you did it this way but then you wouldn't get all the same so two you could get two out of it so that this is just to give you an idea that you know once you're finished and you're not totally um, 
happy with what you made. It's not always that you can just toss it out. There are always parts of it that you do like, but some people don't have that visual thing that they can just spot that right away. So that's why we use these. Uh, this is just a piece of uh, card stock and you cut out your 10 by 10 or 15 by 15, whatever. And then you can just hover over your painting and take out the most beautiful part. Now, as you see up here, well, be okay down here. Mm, okay, that'd be a nice little painting. But if I pull them both together, this is this is something I really like because you have no idea what it is, but the colors and everything is really pretty. So I hope you get what I'm trying to explain. So I'm going to put this one uh, online right now. These um, I did a couple of takes on this one, so I'll push them all together and I'll put them online and then we're going to move on and do something different. Not sure what yet, but it will come to me in a minute. So love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Hoffe ihr allemaal. And I'll see you in the next video.